it going ladies and gentlemen welcome to talking wow right here in the world of wrestling i am your owner i am your ceo i am your lead commentator my name is kyle masters and i'm here to host talking well as always here on the no holds bar network youtube channel ladies and gentlemen world of wrestling is broadcasted live on twitch every single wednesday night on the no holds bar gaming twitch channel 6 p.m eastern time each and every single wednesday you can find that i do apologize for no camera today as i do have a new computer uh, and I haven't really set up the layouts for talking well just yet. So I will be talking on this screen only and uh, giving you guys the preview and recap from the last couple of weeks. And we have a jam-packed talking wow episode today. A lot to go over. A lot to preview. This is going to be a jam-packed episode, ladies and gentlemen. So strap yourselves in as we get right into the recap from last Wednesday's show of World of Wrestling. Last Wednesday, we did see the Beast Incarnate in action on World of Wrestling after uh, a crazy week the week prior when he attacked Kenneth Cloverleaf unprovokedly for no apparent reason at all. He took on Big E last week right here on the World of Wrestling as there was no Kenneth Cloverleaf Invitational, as I do have news about the Invitational later on in the show today. But Brock Lesnar went one-on-one -on -one with Big E Langston, or Big E of the New Day. It was a pretty decent match, if you guys missed it, but halfway through the match, we got this, where Kenneth Cloverly's music hit and distracted Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar thought he might have taken him out the week prior and didn't expect to hear the music, and then Big E took full advantage of this, hitting the big ending out of nowhere on an unsuspecting Brock Lesnar and actually capitalizing on this and actually defeating Brock Lesnar. It was a shocking, shocking victory. Brock Lesnar was not impressed, as you can see here. And then it was himself, Kenneth Cloverleaf, coming out on the stage and challenging Brock Lesnar. These two are, are, are just a bunch of firecrackers, folks. They went at it on the stage, punching each other back and forth. Security and the backstage officials had to come out and separate both these men, as I don't think this war is over between Brock Lesnar and Kenneth Cloverleaf. We will see what happens uh, in the next coming weeks on World of Wrestling. Last week, we also saw an un another unprovoked attack as Lance Archer was added again as he attacked Pac the week prior. Now he's attacking Zack Sabre Jr. for no reason in particular at all. And he attacked him in catering of all places last week. As we hear a devastating electric chair drop on that concrete floor and then throwing Zack Sabre Jr. into the uh, vending machine not once but twice and laying him out. Who knows what Lance Archer has in store, but now he's attacked Pac and Zack Saber Jr. Two people in the uh, two two people in the HFC tournament, which is the Hybrid Fighting Championship tournament. The status of both these wrestlers are still unknown. We will have to find out when the time comes with their statuses in the upcoming weeks. But speaking of the HFC tournament, ladies and gentlemen, we had Kevin Owens taking on John Moxley this week in the HFC tournament, and it was a banger this tournament has proven so far to be a hit in the world of wrestling ladies and gentlemen it is a hybrid of mma and wrestling and moxley and kevin owens i can tell you this tore it down if you missed the replay go check it out it is live on youtube right now and re-watch this match definitely one of the best matches of the tournament so far in this short tournament owens and moxley laid it out on the line folks and were as brutal as they can especially in a hybrid style tournament where Shots are straight shots. We have um, uh, the mix of wrestling as well. As you can see here, Kevin Owens had a very, very good look in this tournament as well. He laid it on to Moxley. Moxley took a very, very big abuse to the head uh, for most of this match. And uh, it was still proven to be a very, very good match. Even though Moxley did try to fight back at times, it was ultimately Kevin Owens getting the advantage over John Moxley as he hit this crushing blow to the back neck of Moxley and then this crushing elbow drop that actually knocked out John Moxley. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it knocked him out. And Kevin Owens moves on in the tournament. As we take a look at the bracket right now, we have the 2B determined logos on Pac and Zack Sabre Jr. for the time being. We don't know what their statuses are going forward in this tournament. Uh, to the, of the or, And that's because the uh, unprovoked attacks by Lance Archer. But we know Kevin Owens has moved on. And we will see what happens as this tournament continues on in the upcoming weeks here on World of Wrestling. And speaking of tournaments, we had our World Tag Team Championship tournament continue last Wednesday in the second round as we had American Alpha taking on 
none other than the Good Brothers and their Danglies. The Danglies were out for the Good Brothers, but they took each other on in a second round matchup. Who the winner who would face and go on to the semifinals in round number three. This was a great match, folks. We saw a lot of of exceptional wrestling as you can see there a crazy move by american alpha both teams again putting it out on the line here in this tournament coming out with some innovative moves and showing just why they deserve to be there in round number two as you can see there a crazy submission move by chad gable but chad gable even hitting the grand altitude with jason jordan on luke gallows of all people that heavy man and carl anderson coming in for the save but this was a great match, folks. Again, go back and rewatch it. This is one of the best match, one of the best matches of the tournament. But uh, it was none other than the American Alpha, one of the favorites in this turn right here. As Chad Gable hits the uh, German suplex package uh, pin combination and was able to get the win, as we saw there at the end, Jason Jordan suplexing Luke Gallows and not in time for the save. An American Alpha. Have now moved on to round number three into the semifinals. As you can see there, ladies and gentlemen, the updated bracket for the Tag Team Championship Tournament. We have American Alpha moving on in the one side and the Best Friends moving on in the other side. They move on to the semifinals as we still have the Bullet Club versus the Hardys and the Motor City Machine Guns versus the Lucha Brothers to go in this championship tournament with the finals being at one last breath at the end of the month, folks. We will finally get to see who our Tag Team Champions will be the first ever tag team champions in world of wrestling after this massive tournament uh, since the beginning of world of wrestling we also had on world of wrestling last week smooth kentas for some reason still carrying the briefcase that he's already cashed in not too really too sure why he's still carrying it still haven't received word as to why but he took on finn balor in a one-on-one -on -one competition but again the story here ladies and gentlemen we saw finn balor watching darby the week prior and then the last week Darby was the one to be watching Finn Balor backstage and I don't know what's going on with these two both men are are, are watching each other's matches I guess I, I'm being told we're going to receive word as to what's going to happen in the preview later on in this show tonight but this was an exceptional matchup folks this was probably the match of the night last week on World of Wrestling Finn Balor and Kenta just went at it in crazy one-on-one -on -one competition and they put it out on the line, like I like to say here on World of Wrestling. Uh, both men just taking it to each other. Some crazy innovative moves by Kenta, but it ended up being Smooth Kenta. Yes, that's right. He's now being referred to as Smooth Kenta getting the victory over Finn Balor. Is there. there was a crazy part in the match where it kind of looked like uh, Kenta was going to win with the GTS, but was right here. Finn Balor with a roll up and Kenta look at this clever clever reversal and getting the three count over Finn Balor crazy crazy win here and uh, Darby Allen was still closely watching this so not really too sure what's going to go down but I guess we're going to hear from both of them in the next coming weeks here on World of Wrestling and in our main event folks we saw Adam Cole and Kenny Omega of the Bull Air take on Seth Rollins our European champion and CM Punk, the newest member of World of Wrestling, in an elimination-style tag team match. We saw the week prior the promos these two cut out on each other. And it's being known that Seth Rollins gunning for Kenny Omega and CM Punk gunning for Adam Cole. So they went at it in tag team action in our main event last week on World of Wrestling. And it was a banger of a match, folks. Tornado style as well. A lot was going on in this match. But it was a crazy match. And ladies and gentlemen, it was all bullet era. I think it caught Seth Rollins and CM Punk off guard. As we see here, the first elimination was when Kenny Omega hitting that devastating one-winged angel on CM Punk. And Adam Cole stopping Seth Rollins from coming in to break it up. Getting the first elimination. And unfortunately for Seth Rollins, the numbers game proved to be a benefactor in this match. As bullet era just took over in this match after CM Punk eliminated and it just destroyed Seth Rollins for the rest of the match. And we're able to get the victory here. As you can see, Adam Cole hitting his signature move and getting the victory for the Bullet Era in our main event. What's next for the Bullet Era? We'll have to find out in the next coming weeks, folks. So that's your recap of World of Wrestling from last week, folks. It was sure a, it was sure to be a, cr a crazy episode, and it was, and this week is sure to be another insane episode as we are on the road to our next pay-per-view, ladies and gentlemen, which is One Last Breath. Yes, One Last Breath is happening Friday, May 28th, 
it was it's going to be an exceptional pay it's going to be an awesome pay-per-view not only just exceptional but it's going to be a great pay-per-view folks and right now just for you guys we are going to get the first match announcement for one last breath if you guys remember at the last pay-per-view at with arms wide open there is a battle royal to determine the number one contender for the North American Championship. And that was won by Kazuchika Okada. So, at one last breath, ladies and gentlemen, Kazuchika Okada is going to go against the North American Champion, Hiromu Takahashi, in the championship match. This is going to be a banger of a match, if I've not already said that already on this show, folks. But Hiromu Takahashi taking on Kazuchika Okada 101 for the WOW North American Championship. That is the first match announced now for one last breath. That is going to be incredible, folks. And not only is it going to be incredible because there will be incredible matches here in World of Wrestling, but because it is a double E-Fed night. That's right. There is two pay-per-views happening in the same night, back-to-back -back pay-per-views, folks. One last breath, followed by Titan FC's Bloodlust which is another great E-Federation, guys. Go check them out on Twitter. Follow them on Twitter and make sure you're watching and, and having a, a, or join us with a giant party happening on Friday, May 28th. We are going to begin at 7 p.m. They will be right after us live on Twitch as well at 9 p.m. Eastern time. And it's going to be, again, powered by Fire Pro Wrestling. So we use WWE 2K. They use Fire Pro Wrestling. So back-to-back E-Feds, folks. Be there and watch both events back-to-back -back and be there for the E-Fed party. So a lot of craziness going on in the E-Fed world, folks, especially with us here at World of Wrestling. As you know, and if you've been paying attention the last couple of weeks, we've been at war with another E-Federation company. And that E-Federation company is called G-O-W, Game of Wrestling. So it is now coming to a, a halt, I guess you can say, or it is coming to, I guess you can say, I don't know how to put this. But you know what? I'm going to let our stars do the talking for me. So this coming Friday, folks... We have Ground Zero, which is our dual pay-per-view, WOW versus GOW, new school versus old school. It's going to be an exceptional pay-per-view. As you can see here, the promotional poster is now out with a few matches from the pay-per-view. This is not just the matches that are going to be on there. There's going to be more. But as you can see, the main event of John Cena from GOW taking on WOW's own Kazuchika Okada in one-on-one -on -one main event action. We also have Shawn Michaels from W or from GOW taking on Kenny Omega from WOW, the Bola Arizona. We also have a Hell in a Cell match, Cody Rhodes versus Triple H in a Hell in a Cell match. We also have Ray Phoenix taking on Ray Mysterio. This Friday, folks, May 14th, pre-show and bell time start at 7 p.m. Eastern time, live right here on the No Holds Barred Network gaming channel. No Holds Barred Gaming on Twitch, so you guys can watch that live on Twitch as well this coming Friday. Cannot wait, folks. G-O-W versus W-O-W. So again, lots of craziness happening here, folks. And if you've seen the teaser, make sure you're following us on Twitter, especially World Wrestling underscore, at World Wrestling underscore, for all your World of Wrestling updates. That's where you can find updates on shows. You can see previews. We're going to be tweeting a lot of stuff that has to do with the show. Make sure you are following it and keeping up to date with World of Wrestling. And if you've seen, you did see a preview trailer for an upcoming event coming up in June. And that's the first Wednesday of... Uh, excuse me, sorry. The first Wednesday of... Oops. <laughs> Screwing up right here on talking. Wow. That's okay, folks. I'm not going to edit that out. I'm all right with that. But ladies and gentlemen, this coming June. So the very first... It would be the very first World of Wrestling after the uh, pay-per-view. We're going to have a special event. Um, it's going to be a themed episode of... Uh, of uh, World of Wrestling. And it's going to be called Black Wednesday. Now, you've seen the teaser. The teaser really didn't give you much. I apologize for that. But that's why we're having this show. On Wednesday, June 2nd, live on Twitch, it'll be regular time, 6 p.m. Eastern time with World of Wrestling. We're going to have Black Wednesday. Now, what this is going to entail is something huge. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to do something big here in World of Wrestling. And it, it's going to—it's needed, and it, it will involve something else, which I will release details in the upcoming weeks about. But ladies and gentlemen, here are your first details about Black Wednesday. That's right. The roster will be trimmed. We are going to trim the roster down for a specific reason that will be revealed at a later date. 
A series of matches will take place on Black Wednesday. There'll be a series of multi-man matches. Wrestlers will have to fight for their lives to stay on the World of Wrestling roster. That is all I'm going to tell you at this moment. More details in the upcoming weeks here on World of Wrestling about Black Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. And again, you'll have more details as to why this is happening in the upcoming weeks as well. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's go ahead and preview this coming Wednesday show here on World of Wrestling. And we're going to start out with the Tag Team Championship Tournament. We have the Motor City Machine Guns taking on the Lucha Brothers in the opening contest of World of Wrestling this coming Wednesday. It is going to be a barn burner. It is going to be a banger. It is going to be exceptional right here in World of Wrestling with the WoW Tag Team Championship Tournament. Continuing, who will move on to face the best friends in round number three and one step closer to becoming the first ever World of Wrestling Tag Team Champions? We will find out this Wednesday on World of Wrestling. Motor Seed Machine Guns taking on the Lucha Brothers. We are also going to hear from Darby Allen, folks. That's right. We're going to hear from Darby Allen as to what's been going on with what's happening lately. We've seen Finn Balor watching Darby. Darby watching Finn Balor. Clearly, these two have some issue with each other. And we're going to hear from Darby first. We're going to hear from Darby this week on World of Wrestling. We'll see what he has to say regarding the whole situation with Finn Balor. We're also going to have a pay-per-view hype and full match card revealed this coming Wednesday on World of Wrestling. You guys have seen it before. It's been shown before. We're going to get some pay-per-view hype for this. Show you guys the war that's been happening between GOW and WW and the full match card again for you guys for this coming Friday's pay-per-view of Ground Zero. GOW versus WOW. The HFC Tournament, the Hybrid Fighting Championship Tournament will continue. We have Miro taking on Shinsuke Nakamura in the first round, one of the last first round matches to go here in the HFC Tournament. Who will move on to the second round? Miro takes on Nakamura. The Kenneth Clover League Invitational does return this coming Wednesday on World of Wrestling. We will see who steps up to the plate and faces Kenneth Cloverleaf as we've seen him battle Brock Lesnar the last couple of weeks. We can only hope that Brock Lesnar stays out of this, but no promises. Kenneth Cloverleaf the Invitational returns Wednesday. And in our main event, folks, he has been hot since the pay-per-view. Jay White, and even before the pay-per-view, Jay White has been on a roll. And you know what? He is going to have a main event spot for uh, this coming Wednesday on World of Wrestling. He's going to take on the Golden Star, Kota Ibushi, in one-on-one -on -one competition. Will Jay White continue on his streak here in World of Wrestling, proving that he is the most dominant force in World of Wrestling? We will find out this Wednesday on World of Wrestling. 6 p.m. Eastern Time, live on Twitch, folks. Be there. So, folks, that's going to wrap it up here for Talking Wow, Talking World of Wrestling here on YouTube. Make sure you guys are tuning in on Wednesday live on Twitch to uh, watch the shows. It's, it's an amazing time. You guys have fun in the chat, and I like to have fun with you guys as well. Uh, I go on a pre-show at 545 just to preview the show again and, and kind of just chit-chat with you guys. So I hope to see you guys there. Links are located down in the description for you below for you guys to follow the Twitch channel and to follow the Twitter channel as well for a world of wrestling. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. My name is Kyle Master, your owner, CEO, and commentator. I'll see you guys later.